All right, guys, we're back with a banger of a video. Today, we've got ourselves a little um, Cathedral City Mac and Cheese Toasty. That sounds good, doesn't it? So I picked this up at Iceland for £3.50. Um, this is what it says on the back. The Cathedral City Cheddar Cheese Macaroni and Dijon Mustard Toasty in a white bread topped with grilled Cathedral City cheddar cheese and white sauce. That sounds freaking awesome. Um, I'm quite looking forward to this. As far as comfort foods go, two of my favorites, right, are mac and cheese and toasties. And they've kind of taken two of those. There's a lot of nostalgia attached to those for me. Um, going right back to childhood and they've taken those two comfort foods and put them into this little bad boy so let's have a look at what's in the bag quickly I must admit I have quite high hopes for this one okay it's got a little microwave this way up can I pull it out? This is the toasty. I'm seeing a lot of uh, macaroni in there. I'm seeing a nice layer of cheese on top. Um, it does have instructions on oven baking, air frying, and microwaving. I'm going to do it in the air fryer. I don't. Something like this would be good in the microwave. I think if you if you wanted it, just a quick cook and eat. Um, I'm going to do it in the air fryer though to get a bit of a crisp on the, the top here uh, just to take it to that next level. So yeah, let me get this thing cooked and I'll get back to you guys. Right, cooking is done. Have a look at this bad boy. It's still piping hot. That has come out brilliant. Bottom toasted nicely too. It is, in this day and age, right, it is an extremely rare thing when the finished product actually looks better than the serving suggestion. Cathedral City, I'll give you that much. This thing looks gorgeous. That sage bangs. It is like just the best air fryer. Um, but it looks good. The question is, does it taste good, right? So let's uh, let's get into this bad boy. Here's a look at the insides. I'm seeing, seeing some nice um, creamy cheesiness, uh, kind of a look on the inside of it there. It's uh, okay. I guess let's just find out if it's as good as it looks. Mm. Oh man. That is that is something spectacular right there. Right off the bat, the, the cheesiness hits you. Well, that is, the mac and cheese inside there is a nice mac and cheese, that's for sure. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't be um, good ingredients, right? But it's got, it's got that cheesiness you expect from a Cathedral City product. The mac and cheese itself inside there is beautiful. Um, the, the bottom has kind of dried slightly.
um, you can tell it's been done in an air fryer and not a like um, grill type thing. But my God, that mac and cheese in there is so gorgeous. Plus the, the cheddar topping. Mm. Man, this thing is spectacular. One thing they could do to improve it, um, in my opinion, is throw in a little bacon. A little bit of bacon in there, this thing would be perfect. Would be perfect. As it is though, it is spectacular. That said, I might be a little biased here. I did say at the beginning, they've taken two of my favorite comfort foods and put them into one. And there's also a lot of nostalgia attached to those two foods. So maybe I'm a little biased by it, but at the same time, if it's met the expectations set by, by that nostalgia, it is, in my opinion, a damn good product. This is, yeah, <laughs> this is just spectacular. I don't know what else to say. Um, three, three pound 50. Initially, I'd thought it's a little on the expensive side, but after tasting it, I'm perfectly happy to pay that sort of money again for it. It really is spectacular. With that said, I'm gonna get out of here and enjoy the rest of this. To be honest, I'm actually wishing I had more of these in the freezer. It'll definitely be on my shopping list again. This is spectacular. Anyway, guys, with that said, I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.